going on YouTube? It's real intention again. Just thought I'd make a quick little product review of some popping corks I use. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know that I use popping corks a good deal. So just thought I would go over the three that I use and uh, why I use them. So let's get into it. All right, this first one we're going to talk about is your one that you can get at pretty much any local sport and goods store. Uh, Walmart carries these. They're relatively inexpensive. You got your glass beads on top. You got your brass beads on the bottom. Remember, your brass beads are always these always go down to your lure or your bait or whatever you're fishing these always face down towards that if not it's not going to float right it's not going to do right um, they make noise just like any other popping cork one thing that I don't particularly care for on these is this wire it's strong it's really good but the problem is over time when you've caught a lot of fish on it you've gotten it hung up you've beat it against the boat you know you've hung up on docks this wire gets bent, okay, and you can bend it back in place a few times, but over time it'll get to the point to where this cork doesn't, you know, slide freely, and you just lose the performance of the cork and it don't work like it should. But they're inexpensive; you can buy them anywhere. So you know, is it a bad cork? No, but they are better ones on the market. This being one of them. Okay, you got your glass beads. Your brass beads just like the other one makes the same noise what makes this one nice is titanium wire you can bend this thing you can twist it up it's going to go back and be exactly how it is this cork will wear out before this wire does these are more expensive normally they're normally two or three dollars more um, but here again it'll just it'll last longer you don't have to worry about the wire kinking up uh, this particular brand here is the H&H &H Coastal Tackle. I bought these at Academy. Academy carries these. Um, they're relatively, I want to say they're like five or six bucks. Um, so like I said, they're a little more expensive. Um, Bomber makes one too that's really good. Uh, there's a couple of different companies that make the titanium ones. And um, like I said, they just hold up better. So, All right, this last court that I like to throw is what I call a hybrid. Okay. It's a popping cork. You got your brass beads on the bottom, glass just like the other one. Makes the same noise. But what makes this one different than the other ones is it's adjustable. Uh, Billy Bays makes these. This is their adjustable depth cork. Um, you can pick these up at Cabela's Bass Pro Shop. Good buddy of mine, Andy Thomas, bought me these for my birthday. And uh, shout out to him. I, I really like these things. Um, but what you do is it comes with a, a little string attachment here and a bead, okay? What you do is you tie this onto your line. You just slide your line through this little plastic insert. You pull these two tight and you put the bead behind it, okay? And then you slide your cork on. And what that does is this gives you the ability to, instead of fishing two to three foot leaders like you would on the other ones, you can slide, you know, slide one of these up and down your line and make this cork any depth you want. You're still going to get your popping cork. And what this does, let's say in the morning you're wanting to throw, you know, artificial. You're throwing, you know, a gulp shrimp or a DOA or something of that matter. And, you know, you're wanting to keep it in that two to three foot range. You just slide the little line down and this stays at that depth, okay? Well, then later on, let's say you finally get an opportunity to catch some live bait and you want to fish for live bait. And you want to target some of those deeper fish. Well, instead of having to retie like you would with the other ones, you just simply just slide that thing up and whatever depth you want and this cork is you know still going to be a popping cork but it's going to act more or less like your standard slip corks okay so you get the benefits of a popping cork but you also get the benefits of a slip cork one modification that I've, I've seen some guys talk about and uh, you know I've done it on these is uh, I super glue these right here and the reason being is some guys said they had problems with this little thing right here just coming off the line and sliding up so just you know just glue this thing down right here you know it helps you know when this stands up in water it just gives you an extra you know way of seeing the cork but um anyway i really like these one thing that i do do different sometimes uh instead of using these okay you can buy these relatively inexpensive you can buy these uh, i think you can get like a 50 pack of these you know but what i use and here again coming from the bass fishing world is bobber stoppers a lot of your panfish guys use these on your slip corks and whatnot. And uh, 
I just like them for the simple fact that I think they're they're easier um, and basically if you guys can see this but all you would do is you would slide this slide your line through there like so grab one of these okay you got it slid on you see my hands on that one right here you grab this little dude here and just pull it on okay and now you got a bobber stopper on your line okay instead of having that string that you got to look at this will reel through your reel guides your rod guides just as easy as the other one and it slides up and i just i don't know it just i like these better than that string so just something to think about you know you guys just maybe give you a different option instead of always having to use these you can use these and you like i said you can buy the um you can buy these pretty much anywhere you know the laser makes these i mean they come in different size shapes you know whatnot we used to use these a lot when we were punching baits through to hold our tungsten weights on so uh i just i use them now for my court rigs so check these out um if you if you don't if you you know a lot of people they get frustrated with these and you know over time they they don't want to hold and then you got to read time so these may be an alternative to that so anyway guys that's ones i use that's why i use them so uh hope this helps and uh tight lines